Hello everyone, I'm Sammy from Arcabad.net and today I'm going to show you my favorite emulators that I use to run rooted Android apps because... Knowledge! ...is very... Noise! Anyways, let's get going. So, I use these three. I use Nox, I use Bluestacks, and I also use Mimu. It's a very weird name, but it's, it's called Mimu! Anyways, it's a very good emulator as well. So, these are the three that I'm using, and just so you know, what I'm primarily doing is I'm hacking games on Android. So, these are the three that I'm using. I'm going to show you why they are awesome, and uh, what I use them for, and uh, what features they might have that interest you. So, let me just start with the one that I'm using the most. It's not necessarily my favorite, but I use it the most because it's compatible with the most game cheating apps, which is the most important thing for me. This is Bluestacks. Now, this particularly right here is an old version of Bluestacks, okay? It's a... It's two point something something rather, but it's really awesome because it's rootable. It doesn't come with a pre-installed root. You actually need a tool to root this one. I think it's called BS Helper, like Bluestacks Helper. Uh, but once you got that installed, it's compatible with a lot of game cheating apps and a lot of apps that require root uh, access. And that's why I use it the most, simply because most of the apps that I want to showcase on this emulator, they work on this emulator, with, with certain exceptions like Game Killer or Game CH, the really old ones. But anyways, so that's why I really like Bluestacks. Besides that, there's not that many features. Like, there's a newer version, um, Bluestacks 3. What I don't like about this one is there's ads in it. If, if you don't pay, it shows you ads sometimes, and it installs app, apps on your device as well. I think, I think I'm really lucky because this one is an old version, so they are not pushing ads through anymore or didn't do that back then. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, this is good for a lot, a lot of compatibility, uh, compatibility reasons. Not much else, though, because it's incredibly unstable. It crashes all the time. It's, it's bleh, the worst. Like, I, I can't explain to you guys how many videos got ruined because this thing just crashed or I had to edit them uh, whatever anyways it's always awkward when something crashes when you're doing a video now this is the one that I like the most for for example games and stuff but it doesn't uh, it's not as compatible with as many root requiring apps as I would like it to be although a, a whole bunch of them work and work well so this is Nox the Nox app player. I, I, I like it a lot. Like, if, when it comes to gaming, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. There's, uh, you can set your virtual location, so you, there's a fake GPS integrated in this. There's a huge, um, just keyboard control section where you can map uh, your keys to all kinds of control schemes. Like, it, it's absolutely awesome. If you want to play games on an emulator, this is the one to go for, for sure. A lot of features. It's getting updated very regularly. It performs very well. I, it's only on very rare occasions where something hasn't worked uh, when it comes to games and stuff. So, that's very awesome. There's also a route that you can enable and disable you will have to restart the emulator in order for that to actually take effect but besides that absolutely awesome there's a file manager that comes with it and there's a lot of functionality like a, a lot like I, I would say this is probably the one that has the most features out of all of them so if you want the most feature rich emulator out there this is awesome when it comes to compatibility with rooted apps um, it's a little bit of a hit of, or, or miss. You might need some other emulators on your PC as well to be sure that you can run it on some kind of emulator. So that's where it actually kind of fails sometimes. Then we have uh, the third one that I use is, um, as I said, Mimu. It's Mimu. I don't know how you pronounce it. M -E -M -U? I don't know. Mimu. I, I just call it Mimu. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a cutesy name. Um, this one is, uh, what should I say about this one? This one is essentially the one I use if something doesn't work on the other ones, or if I need to showcase something that, uh, you know, uh, it, let me just show you real quick. There's, it, it comes with a, a root pre-installed. That's really awesome. You don't need to activate anything. It's just rooted by default. And you have this super user app, which is really awesome. Um, 
in that it allows you to allow root access or disallow it for certain apps. Uh, I, I actually forgot how to exactly do it, but, but there's a way to do it. Trust me, trust me. You can just, uh, I think in settings or something like that. Anyways, you can just uh, declare permission. Anyways, what this basically allows you to do is grant or deny root access to certain apps. Okay, which is pretty awesome. Uh, if I need to showcase something, whether uh, it requires a root or not, this is a pretty good thing to do. However, when it comes to compatibility, it uh, also is not quite as awesome as BlueStacks, but it comes with a lot more features as well. It's I don't know if this and Knox are based on the same framework or not. I am honestly not sure. They sure look kind of similar. But I'm uh, not a hundred percent sure, to be quite honest. It seems that they are different in that um, this comes with pre with root installed and can't be deactivated in any way, as far as I'm aware. Uh, let me just check that uh, root. Can it be disabled? Uh, I should know this, but no, no. There's nothing in these options, um, as far as I can see. Anyways, it would be probably be in advanced or other. No, no, you can't disable the root on this one. So it's pre-installed, rooted. Uh, you can deny root permission to certain apps. So this is basically just a backup that I use when, for some reason, the other ones don't work. And has a pretty good rate of working if uh, Nox and BlueStacks don't work. So if you need to be able to run every single rooted app out there... Uh, at almost any cost or whatever, then I would recommend you get this set up, you get all these three installed. I use BlueStacks the most just because it's the most compatible with the most apps, not because it's the best, because it's not, it's absolutely unstable and it's a heap of junk, like even the process for this, uh, two, this, this BlueStacks 2 version, it doesn't go away after you close BlueStacks and, and, and exit out of it, it just stays there and, and uses up memory space and so on, it's, it's really, really crappy, but it's very compatible with a lot of apps. Uh, I like Nox a lot. I think that would be like the one I use the second most. And Mimu, Mimu, it's just there for when I need something, you know, else. If if I need a third emulator open for some reason, or if the other ones just don't work. So that's my setup. A lot of people have been asking, ah, please tell me which which emulator you use. How can I root emulator on so and so and so on. Anyways. My German went through there a petit peu. Uh, uh, siento, siento. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope this helps.